Hello, welcome back to Gordon's channel. We've come to lesson 7 of the to-do list series. And in this lesson, we are going to learn local storage. We will learn the set item method, the get item method, and then we will learn the JSON method, signified, and pass. So first of all, local storage is a window property in, and it allows us to access the storage object. And there, we can compare it with the session storage because session storage will expire when the session ends the local storage will remain. And for the local storage, actually it has set item, get item, remove item, and clear method. And we are going to use set item and get item. And if we want to check it inside in the div2, in Chrome, it is inside application, local storage. And for the Mozilla Firefox, it is in the storage tab local storage. So let's try it. If I am using Chrome, I use right click inspect and then go to the application. And here I can see that uh, this is the local storage and it is empty now. So let's try to create something here. So let's say if I create a new data called to do list. And let's say it is, this is a message. And now I want to use the set item to set it. So I will use local storage dot set item. And the I give, for example, is to do list. And I will pass my to do list string to it. So let's try. Now we can see that in the local storage, we have a to do list with the value. This is a message. And if we want to try it, get it, we can do it here. Set of set item. Go to here, to do this, close to local storage dot get item. Make sure the key is the same, and this will, this will store it in the new variable, and then we can console log it. Console dot log it. Right. Now, when you run it, you will log this message because we have stored it inside the console inside the local storage and then we can log in inside the console so this is the basic of the local storage and if we want to say save what we have added to the to-do list to the local storage we will add for it here so for a save here if the this code is going to be too smart and keep keep uh, going to uh, alternate for you that you can use the control you set to undo what it has done for us so here we are going to call a function called save to create a function save there are some parameters then save will be local storage dot the item to do list the out to list so this will be the save and of course we need to push it into the control to do list so this to do list should be an array empty array then we don't need this here anymore so here we need to push something new to the array so to do list dot push by adding a new entry to the end this entry it should be an object and this object is should contain two parameter Let's say let's say it contains only the to do first. Let's say this object is the to do, which is our input value one. Say we only input the input value one. See what happens. So now we have push it and set item. So let's try it. If I have a new to do, for example, I have a a. The category is a. Then if we go to the application, we see we have add A to the to-do list. And now if I have a second one, say B. If I add a second one, B, category B, we have A, B. So if we go back to here, and then we try to, if we reload it, everything is gone because we have stored it in the local storage, but we have not retrieved it. So here we should first retrieve it and reload. We will 
if it then we will render the rows so we will need to define a load function a render rows function so here for load we will need to use the local storage dot get item to do this don't need to second parameter and here if we do it in this way we will store it into our to do list variable and but this has a problem because let us console it log it to test console log it so now we have an error let's try it let's check it render rows is not defined so we go to go to define a render row so now if we console log it we don't we see a and b but if we have deleted this one if we refresh in now because sometimes if we if our user runs this app for the first time they don't have any value inside and he will guess no so at a checking here and get it first if the do this is now you will assign to do this at empty array this should solve the problem so now we have nothing here and if we refresh it you see we don't get an error here this is how to load it and now we need to render our rows based on the to-do list so we will do to-do list for each for each item we have the elements the to do then we will call a function which is render row what render row do will be actually what we do is here inside our add entry when we when we add a new item we will create the row row and then we will create for dt as the child so we just need to copy this part here here into our render row actually we can cut it so cut it if control x and paste it here control v so we have moved the add row to here and of course here we have a input value one which is the value of the first checkbox input value two which is the value of the second text box so we need to make them now parameter need to make them as a parameter so here when we call it we will pass it Here, I'm putting the to do this entry here, and uh, I'm demonstrating nothing that we for now. Here, go back to our add entry, we can call it the render row. Render row, the value one, pass these two as the prime argument, put value one and input value two. So now let's try. I have a at b. Is that done? Is not defined. So it means that at the line one five three here. Go to line one five three because we are assigning a function called done the checkbox as event listener callback, and but done is defined inside the scope of uh. The add entry so let's move these two function 
out and now they should be find inside render row move these two function inside render row so now let's go back to our console and check it we have a okay now we can see that it is added we have bb is added and if we refresh the page say that we have an error which says to do this stuff for each not a function and the reason is that this one is a string so let's console lot the type so here uh, inside the load inside the load we have store get the item inside the local storage which is a comma b then we are going to uh, Assign it as empty array if it is now, but if it is if value exists, store the value in the local storage. So now, if we console log it, if we console log the type of list, console log it, we should see that it string instead of an array. The reason is that. And that's why we have the for each to do list stuff for each is not function because for each is for the array method and to do list is a string so it will cause an error because string does not has a for each function so here instead of storing to when we save it we need to uh, make it a string so we need to json dot stringify it so here when we save it we need to do it divided i'm going to do it to two lines so we can see clearly the method is called json dot stringify we'll stringify our this array we'll put stringified version local storage so now if we pair it first we say a a we have, you see the square bracket it is it means that we are storing an array so we can see that it is storing an array it, yes if the, you see it becomes square bracket string a string b and the def2 we can see that we have index zero index one so now we are storing an array instead of string so this is how to use the station the stringify and the next json method i want to teach is json the pass so here json the if if i don't use json the pass and i run the code i get some error hi if see oh see we, do, we get a to do this stuff for each not function and it is still a string the reason is that here when we get the item we get this very cool out but this one in a def2 it is too smart so it tells us that it is array but when we get it as the value then it is still a string so here we need to do a convert it into an array so that pass so data that data at the retrieve the data The local storage get rhythm and the to do list to be station dot pass we use station to pass to pass this retrieve the data after that we console log it type to see object because array in javascript is object so here if run it you can see that we can get the pin get render row with the to do list is a and b it here so if we save c c d d and see if we refresh it we see that it is actually working so this is how to um, so this is how to use the local storage set item get item and if we are using array we will need to use the json dot stringify json dot pass so uh, this is for this lesson and i hope you like it and please subscribe to my channel so we can see you in the next lesson and for the next lesson we are going to do this for example if i have pause out something and i have delete something 
and now if I refresh the page, reset, you see that they are all still the same. And this is what we will need to do the next lesson. So see you. Bye bye.